<clears throat> Good evening all, uh, it's Friction RC here. Just thought I'll give a quick update as to what I've been getting up to and give you guys a bit of news. Uh, so first of all, my little 176 scale turbo mini. Um, as you can see, it doesn't really look like a mini from apart from the front end because I have completely and utterly butchered it. Um, as some of you might realize or recollect from my previous videos, I don't like cast, I don't like standard body shells. I like to cut, chop, add things. I think like most people do. The only problem is I am very ham fisted. Uh, I have the dexterity of a tiptoeing elephant. Uh, and as you can see, this is a very, very shoddy job. Um, rear wings attachments and a kind of open engine bay which is actually the lipo um <clears throat> a few kind of silver touches here through the chrome pin but as you can see the paint because i'm so used to painting big jobs uh one tenth scale and things like that i just put way too much paint on here and it's kind of looks kind of looks rubbish but the thing is when you buy this model you get two unpainted body shells as well and being 176 scale you can get other you can try and fit based on the wheelbase other shells um currently trying to make a ford fiesta fit this issues i'm having with that is it's die cast metal so it's not as easy as plastic to kind of cut and chamfer and stuff like that so that's taking me a bit of time but at least i got this up and running and you know it's just a bit of fun at the end of the day the last time I did anything like this, I would have been at six or seven where my hands were a lot smaller and I had a lot more patience because I wasn't bothered as much about doing homework or in this case, work work. Um, so, yeah, um, a rush job. But that's that's one of the first things I'm, I've, I've been up to. And I this is great fun. If you can get one of these, I would hardly recommend you getting one. It's about 50 quid. Um, probably you can get it a bit cheaper if you wait for the sales. Brilliant fun. So that's the first thing I've been doing. Right, what, have I, what else have I been getting up to? So, yeah, I have got myself a new 4S capable ESC and brushless motor. These are the Surpass ones. Surpass, uh, there we go, hopefully that will work. It's a 120 amp, uh, amp motor. I can put all the details in here anyway. Uh, motor ES, 120 amp ESC. Uh, you can't really see this, but I'll put the details in the link. Also got uh, H, uh, HRB, uh, let's turn this around, it might be easier, there we go. So got a new 4-cell uh, 4S LiPo, um, and I'm not going to lie, this thing, this setup is not as expensive as your standard castle creations or anything like that but boy does it rip uh, as you've seen in the previous videos that i've done of it this is my two-wheel drive slash um it really does pelt it's brilliant fun um i'm having loads of fun trying to keep the front end down so i'm not squeezing the throttle too much um one day i will be taking this out onto a park or where there's a bit more greenery because i will want to see how great it handles off-road because obviously i've got the 110 mil uh, shocks at the front um, with the big balls at the back. Um, I'll sort. I'll try and figure out what the gearing I'm running on this at the moment. But so I'm having great fun with this. Um, and part of the reason I got this kind of setup was to uh, go chasing some speed. So what am I doing with the speed? Well, let's bring this up. As some of you might recognise, this is a or what is supposed to be a two-wheel, uh, four-wheel drive Traxxas Rally. Um, this is the one that had the Ford Fiesta shell that I painted white. It's basically a second-hand job, um, but I've used it to run about in a bit of a basher. Great fun. Um, I've always wanted to. Well, I've got back in love with trying to chase speed, hundred mile an hour. So I've set myself a new job. Uh, which is to build a 100 mile an hour speed run machine. This is going to be the chassis that I'm going to be doing it on. It's based on a 4x4 four, four four Traxxas Rally. Um, had a bit of issues uh, when I thought it was quite easy to take this apart to change a spur gear. Turns out it wasn't. Uh, when I tried to take the spur gear apart, 
um, part of it had melted. Um, I had noticed, had I not run it, had I not done that, this would have been fine. I would have just kept running it as it is. But because I tried to replace stuff, uh, I realised there was an issue where part of the parts melted, some of the parts melted. So I've got a new part for that. Um, I have also, as part of my 100 mile an hour speed build, I have got <coughs> the <coughs> GRPS 7s. Um, I've obviously, thanks to the internet, done a lot of research, websites, etc, etc. Got that. Um, I've also bought, obviously to make those fit, you need uh, the the 17 mil adapters. Uh, those are a pain. I assumed that would just fit straight on with the standard adapter. It wasn't, so I had to get that. Um, so now that is on there, so I've got those. Uh, yes, I do have another two set of tyres to go to the other end. And what 100 mile an hour build would not be complete without something to measure the speed on. So I have got myself one of these Sky RC GSM 15 uh, speed meter. Uh, seen loads of reviews on this and plenty of vids. I generally buy stuff based on how easy it is to set up, what other people think about like everyone else does, <clears throat> and seeing people use it. And for what it was, this was brilliant. Uh, I'm not going to spend thousands or hundreds of pounds on on you know fancy stuff because it'll only be for this i've been using my phone all this time but i thought now i'm actually getting into some serious stuff i might get this and at least i can put it on my other machines as well so first order of the day for this is to uh unpack it set it all up and test it on my two-wheel drive slash at least i know it's working so that'll be the next vid that you'll probably see of this uh is on action but in the meantime this is my new project building a 100 mile an hour RC car. Well, my aim is to, to hit 100 or, if possible, beat it. I'll see after that whether I want to go as far as 150, 160. My main issue is having somewhere to run it. But anyway, um, so yeah, those, those, those are where we're at. So we have a tiny little car that I've hacked the body up. We've got a new beast of a motor, ESC and for cell lipo. And we've started tearing down the car to make 100 mile an hour stuff. So... It's looking like it's going to be a busy couple of weeks and months going ahead. But hey, that's part of the fun. Hope you guys all, guys and girls are all keeping safe and well. Uh, ciao for now.